Yo guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another video. Guys, UFC 257 is this week, and I'm joined by Ryan, like always. Ryan, thank you so much for taking the time. Of course, very, very excited. Ryan, I am so excited for this weekend and the return of Conor McGregor, of course. The two fights we're gonna be looking at is the co-main event, and then also, of course, the main event. So we're gonna start with the co. We got Dan Hooker versus Michael Chandler. What are your thoughts here, Ryan? This is a very interesting fight, especially on the Michael Chandler end. We haven't seen a ton of him mm -hmm. or yeah, any of them really. Yeah. In the in, as far as the UFC goes, he was the backup for the Habib Gaethje situation. He made weight, looked great. Um, never really seen him in the UFC. Obviously, a three-time Bellator champ. That's gonna be quite credible as far as you know the closest you can be to a UFC champion. Yeah, I. This is gonna be tough, man. This is going to be tough. We know we got out of Dan Hooker. We got a savage in there. Dude who just likes to absolutely throw bombs. He just seems like he tries to out-tough his opponents. And looking at Michael Chandler, again, not seeing him a ton, he looks like a very tough guy. Oh, so I yeah. think we may be in We may be in for um, quite the brawl. I would say Chandler, I would assume, he has the upper hand as far as the ground game. Mm -hmm. I just think he's very technical. I know he he trains with Usman. He trains with Gilbert Burns in preparation for their title fights. He's very familiar with the big fight, so I don't think he's going to be overcome by the moment. That being said, again, Dan Hooker is he's an absolute animal in there. He can go toe to toe with just about any anybody in the business. I'm gonna say, and I'm typically very loyal to my UFC guys, but I'm gonna say Chandler wins this. Oh, wow. By submission, somewhere in the thirdish round is what I would guess if I had to guess. Okay, so like you said, you know, I don't. I've only seen highlights. I don't know that much about Michael Chandler. You'd assume on the feet, Hooker's got the advantage, especially with the reach and the height advantage. And then you know, Chandler's probably going to want to take Hooker down and, and do the ground and pound situation. Yeah. There is what I would is what I would assume. Exactly, Hooker, you know, Hooker like you said, he's got the reach. He does have the knockout power, um, so he would be smart to do so. And then you know, Hooker totally gained my respect in terms of his toughness in that last fight against Dustin. That was one of the fight of the year candidates, and especially that second round was maybe my favorite round of you know the UFC fighting the entire year. I don't think Chandler, or excuse me, I don't think, you know, Dan Hooker's ever been submitted. So like you said, if Chandler can do that, that'd be very, very impressive. I right. think I'm, I am going to back Dan Hooker here. I just, you know, I love everything about Hooker. I love, you know, where he trains, the fact that, you know, he works with Izzy and Volkanovski, and he's got a great group behind him. This is going to be a really, really fun fight. And I feel like we get two different styles clashing for our exactly. event. Exactly, I agree 100%. And then Ryan, you know, there's not really much to say about the main event. Anytime there's a Conor McGregor fight, there's just this little bit of extra buzz surrounding, you know, the week leading up and just all the videos I've watched and, and the anticipation is just killing me. I wanna get your take first and then I'll give you mine. Sure, of course. What is more exciting than a Conor McGregor <laughs> card of Conor McGregor. It seems like he's always on the comeback. There's always something yeah. bigger than even just Conor McGregor. I mean, this is what it's all about, man. This is as hype as it's going to get. I think Dustin is going to come into this fight a very, very different fighter. They mm -hmm. fought seven years ago, you know, essentially a lifetime ago as far as a fighter's concerned, in a different weight class where Dustin has been much more successful, yeah. much more comfortable in his weight doesn't have to cut nearly as much, have to put his body through that during his camp, which has made him a much more confident fighter and better fighter. That being said, Conor McGregor is Conor McGregor, one of the nastiest left hands in UFC history. Yeah, He's got the top five power with a number one precision. So, I mean, he's a one shot knockout waiting to happen anytime he steps in that ring. Dustin will, in my opinion, gonna have to, against what he's been saying in the media, because he's been saying he wants this bloodbath of a brawl. I just yeah. don't think that that is the way to go against no. Connor. I think he's gonna have to almost take a page out of Habib's book if, if he can, where he just needs to attack Connor's legs, attack Connor's legs until maybe Connor's cardio starts to wear down and then maybe start wailing on him then. But if he goes straight to Connor 
and lets Connor do his his signature ca precision counter punching. I think that's gonna play right into Connor's hands, and I think that's what Connor's gonna do. Try to get him riled up. Try to get him to come forward, and then wait for those counter punches, leading to Connor's inevitable win, in my opinion. Yeah, you know, I think you nailed it right on the head there. If Dustin Poirier fights this fight the way he fought against Dan Hooker, I, I think, you know, I think Conor McGregor is going to knock him out. It's, you know, he was a bit reckless there early on. And then, you know, his toughness and his durability was allowing him to, you know, push through and get to those, you know, fourth and fifth championship rounds. You know, right. It's one of those things they keep talking about McGregor's cardio and how he spent the last 10 weeks in Portugal and he looks better than ever. And the thing for me, and I'm sure, you know, most UFC fans would agree. You know, a motivated Conor McGregor is one of the best fighters, you know, we've ever seen. Regardless right. of what all the stuff, you know, outside of the octagon in terms of like a fighter, Conor is just, you know, he's one of the best. So I'm really, really excited. It's been almost, I think it's been over a year. It's going to be exactly a year since he fought, fought Cowboy. So anytime we get to see Conor McGregor back in the octagon, especially with the uncertainty of, you know, you never know when this is going to be Conor's last fight. Like it's. He's got so many options. He's got so many opportunities, but exactly. I, got, I got Connor as well. I think I'm going to say a second. I think he's going to hurt him in the second round and he may finish him in the second or if not second, early third. So that's my prediction. Good call. Good call. I'm going to go first round knockout. Connor first Gregor. round now. Oh, dude, if Connor knocks him out in the first round. Oh, my goodness. Insanity. But hey, you know, we'll see. Anyway, guys, make sure you do check out Ryan. He will be linked down below. Thank you so much for joining us, Ryan. I appreciate you so much. Please make sure as you drop a like. Please make sure as you drop a subscription. Let us know your predictions down below. And until next time, we'll see you guys soon. Peace.